privacy versus data protection versus data security well these are commonly used terms but what do we mean by each one of these and why does each one of these matter and what can you do let's find out in this video Hello, my name is Punit Bhatia and I'm a privacy expert, AI expert who helps executives navigate the complex world of privacy and AI by creating a strategy, implementing it and training their staff so that risks are managed and compliance is ensured. Now, in this video, I will talk about the differences between terms we use interchangeably, that is privacy, data security and data protection. That too with a twist. What is the twist? Keep watching. Then I will talk about some practical considerations which you can put in place to ensure your privacy is ensured, data is protected and there is data security. And last but not the least, I will also talk about how can you ensure privacy, data protection and data security in an organization. So let's start with privacy. Privacy for me is a choice. It's a choice to be left alone. It's a choice not to be disturbed. And it is a fundamental right in many countries across Europe. So if privacy is a fundamental right, it's also about the freedom. The freedom or a state in which one is not observed and is not being disturbed by others. This is especially for disturbance by law, government or police. Now data protection when we talk about it is about approaches that one takes to ensure privacy. Ensure personal data is protected. In the modern world, it's all about data. So we often refer to privacy as data protection. So much so that personal data protection law is called general data protection regulation. So when we come to the security aspect or data security, it is about ensuring that only the authorized have access to relevant data. And in the world of privacy, we talk about data security means security of personal data. By broadly speaking, we are saying data protection or data security is all about protecting digital information from corruption, damage, theft. Data security involves usage of tools, usage of technologies and aspects like user access management, encryption of data, etc. Now, I said there will be something very interesting about it. And the interesting aspect about it is that what I shared with you so far is my view, my understanding of things. But in the modern world, we have the advantage of having chat GPT. So I asked chat GPT to guide me on how does it see privacy, data protection and data security. So let me give you a perspective on that as well. So what does chat GPT says? Privacy is about protection of personal data from those who should not have access to it and the ability of individuals to determine who can access their personal data. For example, privacy means you can choose who can see your posts, who can see your health records and your browsing history. What do I say? Partially true because it's mixing up security and privacy. In the true sense of the word, privacy is all about being left alone, having the freedom to choose who do you share, what do you share, with who do you share. That's as per the United Nations Act in the 1940s, the Convention of human rights. Then chat GPT says data protection is a branch of data security concerned with proper handling of data consent notice and regulatory obligations. For example, data protection means that a company must inform you how they use your personal data, obtain your consent before collecting and sharing it and how they comply with laws and regulations that apply to your data. I can agree with that, but it's a branch of data security? Well, yes, data security covers all data and data protection covers usually the personal data. I let you make your own opinion and data security is the process of protecting data from unauthorized access, corruption or theft throughout its entire life cycle. For example, data security means that a bank must encrypt your credit card information, monitor its network for breaches and backup the data regularly. Fully agree with ChatGPT on data security. Then ChatGPT tells me privacy, data protection and data security are interrelated. I agree because all of these aim to safeguard your data from misuse or harm. 
I agree with that also. However, they have different focuses and challenges. Privacy is more about ethical and legal aspects of it. Ethical, I agree. Legal, yes, in some countries. While data protection and security are more about technical and operational aspects of it, fully with it. Privacy is more ethical, more legal. Data protection is legal, but ensured through technical and organizational or technical and operational aspects. Privacy also depends on context. Fully agree. Preferences of the individual. Yes, of course. You choose whether you want privacy or not. While data protection and security depend on standards and policies of organization. I give you an example. Meta, Facebook. Is your data protected? We can debate. Is data secure? We can debate. Is your privacy insured? We will certainly challenge that. And that's where the difference lies. So now let's compare and contrast the different aspects of these and how can you ensure? Well, if you're going to ensure privacy, data protection or data security, these are interrelated. As we said, your three or four means. The first mean is legal frameworks. Privacy, data protection and data security are governed by different laws based on the region, based on the country and based on the industry. In the EU, we talk about the General Data Protection Regulation, which covers both privacy and data protection. While in the US, you have industry-specific, sector-specific laws like HIPAA, Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. That covers privacy and data security in health sector. Then there are ethical principles, meaning privacy, data protection and data security are based on ethical principles, what you should do and what you should not do. For example, privacy is based on the principle of autonomy, which means individuals have the right to control their data. While data protection is based on the principle of accountability, which means organizations have the responsibility to protect data they collect and process. And that's where GDPR comes into play. And talking about the ethical aspect in data security, it is based on the principles of confidentiality, integrity and availability, which means data should be kept secure and secret from unauthorized parties. Then we have technical measures. Technical means usage of technology to ensure privacy, data protection and data security. Examples of it would be encryption of data anonymization of data, pseudonymization of data to protect identity of data subjects. We can always debate the extent to which data can be anonymized or de-identified, but technology allows us to do. Their data protection requires controls such as access controls, audit logs, consent management so that we ensure compliance with law or data policies. Data security also has measures like firewalls, antivirus software or even backup systems and recovery from breaches. But then there are challenges in the modern world. If we use the technology well, that's OK. Otherwise, it can lead to surveillance. There is also consent fatigue. That means you don't keep asking the user about consent, but at the right moment with the right information. So there are challenges, there are complexities, but then I promised you while you can do legal, ethical and technical means to protect privacy in the organization framework, some practical tips on how do you protect privacy and ensure security and have data protection. First and foremost, encrypt your data, whether at rest or in transit prevent unauthorized access, protect your passwords. One is use strong password, but the other is keep your password secure, like using Bitwarden or LastPass or one password tools like that. Update your software regularly. This allows you to fix vulnerabilities and bugs that may be in the operating system or the tool. Avoid phishing and malware attacks. How do you do that? Do not click suspicious links. Do not click emails from unknown recipients. Use antivirus software that helps you protect from viruses, malicious files and scans your files. Be careful when you use online and share what you share carefully. Use a virtual private network to encrypt your internet traffic and hide your online activity. Back up your data regularly. Educate yourself and others. And with that, I've given you the definition of the three terms, mine, and that of chat GPT, technical, ethical, and legal options to secure privacy, data protection, and data security, and more importantly, some tips. And the golden rule always is what we used to say in the old days. If you share something that will embarrass you in front of someone, do not share it online. That's the golden rule. And if you follow that, you will have privacy, you will have data protection, and you'll have data security. If you like this video, click like, share it with a friend, and subscribe to our channel. If you did not like it, share with me what can we do better and what would you like to see in the next video. With that, 
Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. And if you want to take advantage of our courses, free courses, go to fitforprivacy.com. There are courses for CIPM, CIPT, CIPPE. And if you are looking for bespoke training for your staff or management, contact me. Hello at fitforprivacy.com. And if you need a DPO as a service, privacy as a service, EU representative, contact us at hello at fitforprivacy.com. And anything else, follow me on LinkedIn, subscribe to the channel, watch the podcast, stay connected. Have a safe and private day.